Hello programmers, welcome back to my Swift tutorial. First of all, this tutorial is made in Swift 4 on Xcode 9, but if you are still using Swift 3, then this should work fine for you. So today I will show you how to use PicoView with text field. PicoView is similar to drop down menu. This is what we will be creating. So here I have a text field. If you click it, a PicoView pops out, select the city and it goes down and changes the text in the text field. So let's get started. Uh, I will. Okay. So here I have already created a project with a text field in between. So let's quickly give constraints to our text field and connect it to our code file. So I will select my text field and say 350 from bottom, a fixed width, a fixed height. Width will be 250 and height will be 30. Add three constraints and it will be horizontally in container. So all blue, good to go. I will just connect the text field uh, to my code file and say city field and hit connect and we are done with the storyboard part let's hop over to view controller standard editor get rid of this I'll have a couple of enters as the project as we have to code a bit more so first of all I will create a variable cities I'll say let let it be a constant so cities will be of array and first will be Ahmedabad let's say Sydney Cape Town Fairfax and one more let's do New York so here we have a uh, array of cities and we need one more variable for a picker view so picker view is going to be ui picker view and don't forget the parentheses now we need two protocols just start typing picker view and you will get delegate and start typing picker view and we need data source as well so if you click on a view data source command click and jump to definition these two methods are compulsory so just copy them and go back under view did load paste it and get rid of this code and we need brackets so curly brackets enter let's get rid of this and we need brackets as well so there are two other methods in delegate of clicker view which we need which is title for row and another one is did select row so let's start putting values so number of components will be one and the number of rows in component will be return so it will be uh, as number will be same as cities dot count so just say cities dot count and a title will be return cities and we will pass in just the row now we need to do uh, assign this picker view with our text field so just say mm, we had city field city field dot input view will be our picker view and so let's try to run our application and see if it works or not okay let's just let's just put comments here uh, let's say to do and run the application should work because did select row is not mandatory so here the application is loading I don't know why okay I'll minimize this I don't like full screen so if we select here not uh, okay this line shows up but there is no data because we forget to assign delegate and data source to our picker view so Make sure you always do this. So our picker view is picker view dot delegate is equal to self and picker view dot data source is equal to self. And we can do one more thing for a text field. We can say city field dot uh, alignment. So so it's like text alignment. Just hit dot and it will be center and city field dot placeholder is equal to select city just so that we know what we are doing let's run the application again and we should have data inside our picker view 
so the application has loaded select city and we have cities over here but when we select a city it does not show up in our text field and this still stays on the screen so let's handle that so under to do just get rid of that to do and say uh, city field dot text it will be just text equal to uh, cities array and just pass in the row uh, which comes from here so under uh, did select row delegate uh, we get the row and we just need to resign our city field responder just as city field dot resign first responder and run the application again and we should be able to see what we were supposed to see so select city let's select Ahmedabad and it shows up and picker view goes you can select it once again and say Fairfax and it works so this is how you combine picker view with your text field and if you like my video don't forget to hit like if you have any questions put them in your comment if you have any suggestions throw them in the comment and don't forget to subscribe for future videos